In this video, I will share a guide on how to install Wuchang Mod Enabler. I will also share a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a fully functional mods folder in Wuchang Fallen Feathers on PC for both Microsoft Store users and Steam users. So welcome to Max Out FPS and leave a like, subscribe, let's begin. First, you need to open this page of Wuchang Mod Enabler, and once you are here, you need to scroll down and click on the Files option. This should show you the files of Wuchang Fallen Feathers Mod Enabler. So if you have the Microsoft version of the game, you need to download this first file, and in my case, I have downloaded the second file, which is for the Steam version of the game. And don't worry, the installation is the same for Microsoft and Steam versions of the game. So here is the file that I downloaded, and we will first extract this file, and you can also use 7-zip if you like. Now open this folder and we will install files from here. To do that, first you need to place this folder to the right side of the screen. Now I need you to open your game folder and place that to the left side of the screen, just so everything is well organized. Here are the locations where your game might be. Now open the mod folder, open this project plague folder, go to binaries, then open this win64 folder. So these are the files we will install. Now in your game folder, open the project plague folder, then go to this binaries folder, and open the same Win64 folder. So we are here in this folder. Before we install our files and create a functional mods folder, let me explain what each file does in this mod folder. The first file you see here is the mod loader file, and its work is to make your favorite mods become fully functional in the game through the mods folder, which we will create later in this video. The second file, which is a folder, contains a Lua script file, and its work is to bypass all restrictions on loading mods in the game which just means when you load a mod in the game, if there are any limitations or something stopping us from using that mod pack, this file will make sure your mod has the permissions to become functional in the game. When you got both files, you need to copy them from here and paste them here inside the Win64 folder. All right, guys, these are installed, and we will now go back in the game folder, and I will share steps on how to create a working mods folder. To create a mods folder after installing the mod enabler, you need to go to the Project Plague folder, then open this content folder, and you need to go to this packs folder. Once you are here, you need to create a new folder and rename this file as bitwise or also known as home symbol, and you can write that from this button on your keyboard, and then write mods all in lowercase. Also guys, to make your life easy, I will leave this exact name in the video description. Once you do that, your folder is created. Now all you have to do is open the folder and start putting your mods files, and your mods should work in the game if you have followed the video step by step. With that, leave a like, subscribe, and maybe watch this video on your screen. 